Hello everyone, today I just want to comment on a paper recently published in the Annals of Family Medicine. The interesting thing about this randomized control trial is that it compared the DASH diet with a very low carbohydrate diet with respect to the ability of these dietary interventions to treat hypertension. Only obese, diabetic and hypertensive subjects took part in the study. So DASH stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension and it consists of a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains and low-fat dairy foods. It also restricts saturated and total fat and it's lower in sodium. It's basically a Mediterranean diet with a limited amount of salt. The DASH diet is the standard of care dietary recommendation for blood pressure control by the American Heart Association. The very low carbohydrate diet is considered an option for weight loss and glycemic control, however not strongly supported by the American Heart Association, especially when it comes to heart health. So in this RCT, the very low carbohydrate diet limited carbohydrate intake to 20 to 35 grams of non-fiber carbs per day. The RCT lasted for four months and the researchers measured body weight, blood pressure, HbA1c, and also the need for medication before and after the dietary interventions. The results were strongly favorable to the very low carbohydrate diet. In fact, the very low carbohydrate diet, which is in orange in the graph, was twice as effective as the DASH diet, which is in blue, to reduce weight loss and HbA1c. Even the reduction of blood pressure was much larger for the very low carbohydrate diet than the DASH, actually twice as much. Finally, 75% of the subjects on the very low carbohydrate diet reduced or stopped diabetes medications altogether, whereas in the DASH group, no one did. When it came to blood pressure medication, only 13% of the subjects in the DASH group reduced its use versus 43.8% in the very low carbohydrate diet group. So what's the conclusion? So according to the authors of the study, a very low carbohydrate diet might be more appropriate than the DASH diet for short-term disease management for obese, high-risk adults. If you're still not convinced, do not take my word for it. Go ahead and read this study that is fully available online. My intention here is not to say that everyone should switch to a very low carbohydrate diet. However, if we are going to say that any rec dietary recommendation should be evidence-based, then we need to stop dismissing the very low carbohydrate diet and include it in the arsenal used to treat obesity and its related metabolic disorders. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next.